Welcome to Door Components. Today I'll be taking you through the custom hollow metal frame process. I'll show you step by step how we manufacture a custom frame. Let's go take a look. The manufacturing process starts with the material. Door Components standard material is galvanized. Galvanized simply means a galvanized coating that has been annealed to make it easy to paint. We also make stainless steel frames and we carry a wide range of gauges, 16, 14, 10, and 12 gauge material to accommodate any frame order. After the material is specified, the manufacturing process begins. The first station the frame will go to is shearing. At Door Components, we don't carry any stock frame inventory. We make every frame to order. The frame is now ready for the punch press. Here we create the corner miter along with the hinge and lock preps. Every prep is accomplished by using a CNC punch press. Each machine contains 56 separate tools in its turret. This allows door components to prep each frame for the exact needs of that opening. Now the frame is moved to the press brake. This machine is used to form the soffit of a frame. It uses offset dies and a 300 ton press brake to create consistent and precise bends. Each press brake is equipped with an automatic back gauge that allows the operator to make custom adjustments for each order. Then the frame must go through another press. This time, however, the machine will be forming the jam into its final shape. The next step is spot welding. This welding process is used to attach hinge and lock reinforcements, closer reinforcements, wall anchors, and floor clips. The frame is then moved to the final welding station. At this station, various types of welds are done, including face welds, continuous welds, and Phillips welds. Now the frame is ready for finishing. This is where the welds and the spot weld marks are ground and sanded. Then each frame is given a visual inspection and the final finishing touches are applied. Last manufacturing step is prime paint. This low VOC paint is applied electrostatically. The frame is then baked in an infrared oven. This process meets lead requirements along with the ANSI spec 2510 for prime paint. Because every frame is custom, each comes with its own label. This label is used to specify where the frame will be installed at the job site. The label includes the door component's shop order number, customer's PO, opening number, handing information, plus the fire rating requirements. The process is now complete. The frame is ready to be shipped. Today we have shown you the detailed manufacturing process we use here at Door Components to make custom frames. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.